Ciao guys, three of you here right now. This is gonna double up as the Salernitana preview. Spoke a little bit about it yesterday, but we'll speak about it again right here, right now, for not too long though. Not too long though, okay? Um, I, I smell a potential banana skin here. I didn't wanna say that I smell something bad, but I just, I'm not, I don't feel the vibes at the moment. I feel like this is another banana skin. I feel like we're going to go to Salerno and put in a really, really subpar performance. I don't have too much to comment on because statistics wise and um, data wise, I'm not too versed on who's starting for them, who's injured, who's suspended. I know that they're, I think, 17th in the league. If they're not 17th, they're 18th. The only teams that could be lower than Salernitana at this point are Cagliari, Empoli, Udinese. They would have to be the only teams that could be below Salernitana on points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're either 17th or 18th. They're, they're not higher than that. So... I know that we're going to their grounds, but ev everything says that we should be pumping them, guys. Absolutely pumping them. And I hope that that's the case. So let me give you my predicted lineup for us. Any sort of pre-news. Let's talk a little bit about injuries, and then let's do a little bit of a prediction. Okay? There's options to rotate here because our injury list is starting to grow. Quadrado, not available. Fratesi, not available. Senzi, not available. So, uh, obviously, Arnautovic, not available. So, we've got a few different different ways that we can do this. I guess, I guess Inzaghi's selection process is actually easier knowing that all of these players that would have potentially subbed in are now out. However, the double-edged sword to all this is that, well, if Sensi's not available... If Fratez is not available, then you need to start Barella, Haka, and Mkhitaryan, and you need to bring on Klassen, and you need to bring on Aslani. I'll repeat that. You need to play Aslani. There's no choice. You know, Sensi was meant to be available for 15, 20 minutes off the bench here and there. He's not. And I hate the fact that he's always not available. I don't hate him as a person. I don't dislike him as a person. If I'm allowed to say something, am I allowed to hate him as an interplayer? Because I do sort of hate him as an interplayer. The same way I hate Mauro Icardi as an interplayer, the same way I hate Joaquin Correa as an interplayer for different reasons. They just, they give us nothing. They're not interplayers to me because they never put on the shirt and add anything of value over a 38 domestic season. And that's just the reality for me. So screw him and his lack of availability because we need him at the moment and we don't have access to him and that means he sucks it means he sucks so I, I do think that we're going to see Klassen get some minutes um, maybe even potentially from the start like you have to start Benji Pavard man you have to start Pavard Inzaghi bro you have to start him start him I would actually think about starting De Vrij in the middle in this one. I know we started at Chedby in the last game. Like, my back three for this one would be Bastoni, De Vrij, Pavard. Then I would start Dumfries on the right. Augusto on the left. Give Di Marco a break. There's no reason why you can't start Carlos Augusto in this game. The guy who started, what, 36 games for Monza last season was ranked in the top three left backs in the league. After playing against every side, he did it for Monza. Half the time, Monza were parking the bus. Come on, man. Now's a game for Carlos Augusto. Get him on there. Stick with the traditional three midfielders of Barella, Hakan, and Mkhitaryan if you need to. I would be starting Lautaro up top with Turam. I know people are saying Lautaro deserves a rest. Lautaro tends to break his duck or tends to absolutely obliviate Salernitana. It's in his repertoire. It's in his history to do that. So, we might want to let him run with that a little bit. I know it's shaky. I know that ugh, the camera's not getting held very well, but that's all right. We're almost done with this short live drive anyway. So, give me a sec. Ugh. There we go. Um, 
Lautaro needs goals, man. Lautaro needs goals. It's as simple as that. And if we're going to give him an opportunity to score goals, then this might be the one. I don't like the fact that he's gone borderline two and a half goals, uh, two and a half games, three games without a goal. Because we know that when Lautaro gets into these patches, he's poor. He's poor. So, Aslani and Agume time, I don't think so. Christian Cartello, shout out for, for you coming in. I know you're still a channel member, and I appreciate that, brother. All that matters is three points. Lazio have an opportunity to take points off Milan. The problem is, bro, historically, Lazio roll over and die for Milan. They absolutely fucking die for them. I don't... Uh, Lazio is a very submissive team when it comes to Milan, even when it comes to Juve. I never, ever, ever, ever expect Lazio to do me a favor because they stink. They suck. And I don't like them. I don't like them. I know that our fans are supposed to have a good relationship with Lazio. If I'm allowed to say this, bro, Lazio. Straight to hell and back. Lazio, man. I would cheer on Roma against them any day of the week. Lazio do us no favors and will continue to do us no favors. None. Zero. A duck. Zilch. I think that the only way for us to move forward is to get three points against Salernitana, three points at home against Bologna. Because I know Atalanta have Juve this week, and I don't expect Atalanta to do us any favours either. I'm banking on six points. Three for Juventus, three for Milan. We need three. We need three. I think Kandreva is missing. I think he's injured. I think. I think Antonio Kandreva is injured. Or suspended because I keep reading that he's not available. Thank God for that because I was ready to bet some money on Candy Candreva to score. He scored against us last season in the 1 1, didn't he? Unless my memory is really fading me, we conceded to Candreva last season. So I have every reason to believe it's going to happen again. Every reason to believe that. I don't have long to stick around today. I've done this video on the run because I felt guilty for not putting a piece of data out there for this game other than yesterday's short video. I don't know, or the live drive yesterday. I think that we win this game and I'm going to go with 2-1. I think it's going to be ugly. I think it's going to be gritty. I think it might even be 1-1 for large periods of the game and we need to win it late. It could finish 1-1 as well. I've got no confidence. My confidence has like been shot after that uh, after that Sassuolo game, and I need a really big win against Salernitana to lead me to believe that we are going to beat Benfica at the Miazza on Wednesday or Thursday, wherever you are in the world. Because Benfica just beat Porto this morning. I know it was close. I know it was tight. I was tuning in in the background, but the fact of the matter is, Benfica beat Porto this morning. I'll say it one more time. Benfica beat Porto this morning. They know exactly where they stand. They know exactly where their confidence levels are at. And believe you me, they, they genuinely thought from ownership to players to fan base that they were going to spank our asses in the Champions League last season. Didn't happen, did it? We served them up a nice plate of pasta and asked them to gobble it up. So unfortunately for us, Perry Perry Chicken is coming back with a Cristiano Ronaldo level revenge. The vendetta that Benfica is putting on Inter is serious. So we better be ready. We better be ready because Benfica is coming to the Miazza to win. Benfica is coming to San Siro to take back three points to Lisbon. Believe that. Believe that. The only way we get three points against Benfica is if we get three points against Salernitana. So yes, it's been an adverse two and a half games. We got a decent point against uh, Sociedad. We got three tough points against Empoli. We lost an entire three points against Sassuolo. The only thing that counts now is three points against Salernitana. My name is Anthony. Forza Inter. Ciao ragazzi.